first point was that I think everybody felt that Chippenham needs promoting. The way to improve uh, the position in terms of employment is to pr promote Chippenham and to pr promote it both as a place to live if you work somewhere else and also as a place to both live and work. Um, manufacturing, the large scale manufacturing particularly, um, was seen to be vulnerable to the loss of large companies um, to elsewhere in the UK or overseas and that therefore there needs to be ample provision of suitable development land um, critically close to the M4 junction and possibly using Halavington um, which was seen as being perhaps in employment terms the most attractive aspects of Chippen. Um, you Reversing the current trend for companies moving away was regarded as being very important. It was also picked up on that smaller businesses, particularly smaller manufacturing businesses in some specialist areas, represent a large proportion of the total employment, so also there needs to be detailed consideration of how they can be retained and encouraged. And the, environment, the working environment was felt to be very important for that. Uh, Bumpers Farm wasn't particularly seen as a pleasant working environment, whereas developments on um, farms and other agricultural areas might be much more attractive and it's possible that that should be a major selling point for the town. Um, vehicle access into and across the town was identified as limiting the attraction, attractiveness of some areas of Chippenham for some businesses as was um, difficulties with parking in town. Um, the in-town retail and leisure facilities um, need to be vibrant and enticing to a wider range of customers and it was felt that that should be a high priority um, in the last 15 years, there's been a considerable improvement in the environment of town, but the actual offering in terms of retail, hotels and other leisure, leisure facilities was seen as remaining quite poor. But that area is one which would enable us to attract, attract people who perhaps work in Swindon to live in Chippenham um, and, and therefore um, improve the actual vibrancy of the town. Um, the area that needs further research was the one that was mostly discussed by the second uh, group, which is the need to examine what's going on in more detail in terms of underemployment of some groups of people, um, young people not in education at work, for example, and also to look at the way that the age profile in town is moving towards the post-work group, if I can describe them in that way, um, and therefore how jobs which are difficult to fill will be filled and it was identified within the group that within our agriculture and within the fire service it's actually quite difficult to fill posts um, and I guess that probably applies to other areas so we haven't got a match between the people who are available and the ones um, who um, are actually looking for work. The relocation um, project for hubs for government departments was raised and none of us at the table knew whether Chippenham was involved in that, but it was felt that um, government departments being attracted to the town might be a good thing. Uh, came through was uh, about uh, children and young people not in education, employment and training uh, and there's a lot of feeling of uh, a worry about the future uh, and whilst actually the educational standards within Chippenham are above average, not just for the country but for Wiltshire itself, we did note that, um, and we were somewhat surprised that po poverty is actually we're second ranked if you like which isn't good, out of 20 uh, community areas and we wondered if that was due to poor employment and prospects. But employment is actually not too bad in Chippenham uh, but for young people they were worried that it was low quality employment along the lines of retail which is actually pretty much the primary uh, employer within the town uh, and I appreciate or we all appreciated that maybe the idea of apprenticeships is something that's more perhaps government led you know are there opportunities for that to be uh, dealt with locally. 
Uh, also, uh, it was noted that connections are closing this year. I, didn't, I wasn't aware of that because of perhaps funding issues. Um, and uh, there was a feeling that there was a lack of face-to-face -face support for young people on an individual basis, recognising that actually everyone has unique and independent needs. Uh, and it was felt that a lot of the advice to children and young people was rather generic rather than uh, individually tailored, and that can be quite resource hungry. So the priorities we put for action don't necessarily feed directly into that, apart from getting more apprenticeships and things, was uh, a feeling that there uh, is always that phrase that everyone will be familiar with, there isn't anything for young people to do. Actually, I think there's a sense that there are, there is quite a lot to do, but um, I, in my role, often feel overwhelmed with leaflets and this organisation, that organisation, all very good and effective, but uh, is there a central point where that can all be collated and accessed by uh, young people? Um, and actually, there are different websites, but you know, uh, some people will say it's this website, that website. Uh, we recognise that, for instance, in Chippenham Town, there are some empty business premises. Would it be appropriate to have uh, one of those turned over as a central resource point for young people to go where Splash, uh, Can Do Arts, all those that, uh, other agencies can feed into? Um, uh, and within that, um, uh, a request for more outdoor activities. I know Splash. Uh, and can do what arts do many different projects, film projects, and Richard Williams with uh, uh, children and young people at the Bridge Centre fulfil many needs. A lot of them are actually oversubscribed, or in some cases they're undersubscribed perversely because people just don't get to know about them. So maybe a central point would be effective for that. Also, um, we think we're missing a trick in Chippenham in that, clearly in any town, if you access and communicate uh, what is going on through the secondary schools particularly, you in theory access 100% of all children and young people in your town. And I'm not sure that uh, we are uh, taking full advantage of that. Uh, so I think we need to get that a little bit more joined up perhaps than it is at the moment and uh, we need to be talking better. Um, long termism, there was a feeling that um, when funding is sought for new projects for young people, that uh, the funding and the people who provide the funding often want a new sexy project. And actually, a lot of the time, there are existing projects that uh, are already in existence. Uh, they're very successful. They've been going a long time. Um, uh, but they tend to get neglected sometimes because, well, they've been going five years. We need to get something new. Sometimes we don't. So I know sometimes people will... Yeah, but those were the, the, I'll just write them out. Okay. <laughs> a, a central point, more outdoor activities uh, and better support and engagement with schools. All right.